Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay, Virgos? Now, the only intuitive message that I was getting here, I, I was hearing spirits say, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Now, that can mean anything, okay? But let's see. What do we have for my Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, north node and Venus. Thank you, spirit. What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? So let's get a card from Archangel Michael to open the reading. Let's see what he may be trying to help you with at this time, okay? What do you have for Virgo? So the card that is coming out here, Virgos, it does say your home is protected by angels. And it says Archangel Michael... Thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage and taxes. So they want you to know that your home is protected. So I don't know if some of you was worried about your home or maybe your stability or security here. Okay. It's also that message at the, at the end where it's kind of saying, do you know what? It feels like if someone here is worried about maybe paying off bills or like I said, you know, how they're going to kind of um, make ends meet. It feels like there's an energy here where spirit is saying, hey, listen, your finances is going to improve. But I always encourage you, Virgos, that you have to have that mindset as well. So, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have prayer will help this situation. And it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, it says, I ask for your divine intervention. And it says for you to describe your specific situation. It says, I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. It says, I need a miracle and I ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. It says, thank you and amen. You see that thank you and amen, almost like instantly knowing that they've heard you and they're going to grant it, whatever it is that you're asking about. Now, I am getting this energy here, Virgos, where for some of you, you may have already put this prayer out and spirit may have been giving you signs and synchronicities um, for a solution to whatever your problem is, but it kind of feels like some of you are hesitating to follow those signs. You're hesitating to listen to your intuition, right? So it's like spirit has answered your prayers and they've put a certain pathway in front of you, but there's a hesitation to walk it. So again, that energy may be where I was getting at the beginning, right? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. So now you've asked and now that they've given you a solution, what are you going to do about it kind of a thing? But let's see what comes out for you. What is the message here today from our Virgos? Can I get a card for now and a card for going forward? Thank you, Spirit. One more shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have perfect timing. Yeah, but it's almost like with the unlikely behind it and not the right time, there's that energy of hesitation where spirit is saying, no, go now, move now, speak now, act now. But give me a message. For Virgo. So the first card coming out is a yes. Now, for some of my Virgos, okay, this is not going to be for everyone. This could be about a relationship. It's almost like I'm looking at this card and number one, this angel looks like she's pregnant. 
there could be something here about twins as well um it definitely could if it's twins it could definitely be a boy and a girl um, i'm just looking at her and she looks like she's holding the sun and the moon which is feminine and masculine energy I also am getting with this energy of the sun and the moon that for some of you, right, it's time for you to step out of that kind of shadow space and step into the sunlight almost, right? It's almost like for someone here, it's time for you to be seen or heard. For others of you, you may be in this energy with that kind of moon, right, where you may be kind of feeling some sort of fear, but spirit is really trying to um, direct you towards positiveness happiness when you think of the sun card so show me more all right spirit give me a card for going forward the energy going forward for Virgo okay no need to worry and I'm seeing within the next few months but the one that fell on the table it says within the next few weeks so it could be different timelines for different Virgos so let's see What is this yes card for my Virgos? Sun, moon, rising, north node and Venus. Thank you, spirit. All right, what is this yes? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. So you have the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. So for some of my Virgos, this definitely could be about your work situation, okay? Something that you are skilled at, something that you have mastered. Um, like I said, for some of my Virgos, there may be something here that you have been working on behind the scenes. And now Spirit is saying, okay, listen, now it's time for you to bring it to the forefront, okay? Now it's time for you to present it to the world, some of you may be thinking about going, um, maybe going back and studying, right? Going back to uni or college or something like that. Maybe even an online course or something. But the Eight of Pentacles, it says skilled work is rewarded. It says learning all there is to know about a topic. It says going back to school. Show me more. So if some of you feel like you're questioning yourself and you're like, damn, am I really ready for this? Or Spirit is saying, yeah. Show me more. And then we have the two of water, which is nice. <laughs> um, considering I was saying this definitely could be about a relationship, right? But the two of cups can also talk about, you know, maybe a partnership or something like that. Maybe some of you are thinking of going into partnership with someone. Or maybe you need to work with somebody, right? But the two of water, which is the two of cups, it says a relationship that continues to grow closer. It says forgiveness. It says the positive resolution of a conflict. So for some of you, you know, maybe there's a chance here for you to work something out with somebody here. Or maybe you need to forgive someone. So this could be in the workspace, okay? I also feel like even though this is the Eight of Pentacles, and yes, it talks about your career and things like that. I also feel like someone here may have been studying another person. It's that energy of getting to know someone, learning more about them, understanding. So maybe there was a situation here where there was some sort of, um, where, where something was misunderstood or someone was misunderstood, right? Show me more. What is the yes card for my Virgos? You have the queen of water coming out here. You could have water very heavy in your chart or some of my Virgos you're coming across as very kind of 
caring, nurturing, kind. Some of you may even be a little bit shy. Someone could have their eye on a water sign. But the Queen of Cups is talks about someone who is patient, loving. She's a very empathetic, empathetic kind of energy, right? Now, it does say relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others. So again, with this energy of listening to your intuition, um, some of you could be very intuitive or like I said, spirit may be answering someone's prayers here, but are you listening? It's almost like I'm hearing spirit say, don't miss an opportunity in something. Give me one more. Some of you deserve whatever this is. And then we have this empress turning over. Libra energy. Some of you could even go on to have a family with someone. Maybe there is a child here that is destined to be born. All right. I'm getting different visions with this card. It's spirit protecting a child here that is waiting to come down to the 3D plane. The Empress doesn't, know, doesn't just talk about pregnancy and, you know, it also talks about someone who is very much sitting in an energy of abundance. You're able to manifest anything that you want here, right? So it's that energy of if this is about a career, you're able, you have everything you need. You, you've learned everything that you've needed to learn to kind of be able to sit in this divine feminine energy. You can create anything. And it looks like this empress, I don't know if you can see, but she looks like she has like a trumpet in her hand. And the, yeah, it's still there. And it was kind of reminding me a little bit of almost like the judgment card. Awakening. Again, this energy of forgiveness. But also an energy of maybe reconciliation for some of you. Spirit says, do what you know is right for you. Make the right choice with the justice. This is also an energy of standing up for your beliefs. The Empress says, lavish abundance. It says, give birth to your dreams. It says, nurture yourself and others. And it's the same kind of energy on this Queen of Cups. Give me one more. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like there's definitely prediction here um, of a pregnancy. Now, again, if you know you don't want children or if you know you're not at that um, childbearing age then that part isn't for you okay I'm looking at the empress and she's a number three and it's reminding me of almost like the three of wands and the three of wands talks about waiting for your ships to come in but the three of wands also talks about someone who has vision and I feel like if you have vision then you can manifest you have the ace of wands it talks about new beginnings so again, it could be in career, but because it's the wand, it could also be in passion, love. And I feel like it's also very important for Virgos, for you to do something in career that you have a lot of passion for, that you really love, right? Because I feel like that is that energy is what's going to carry you through. The energy of doing what you love um, it is going to make something um, long lasting, okay? Um, it's also going to help you to kind of... Um, get over any kind of obstacles that may arise, right? It's almost like, a, do I want to use that example? Hmm. I was going to say it's almost like an energy that you would have for your children, right? 
They don't always do things the right way. They all don't always listen, right? But you still have love for them. And that is what makes you kind of continue to be a support network for them. The Ace of Wands, it says an exciting new opportunity. It says a career advancement and it says change your life now. Confirmation. So show me going forward within the next few weeks. Why is that here for Virgo? It kind of makes me feel like almost this energy where you won't even, if someone takes the action now, you, you kind of will be surprised where you are even just a few weeks from now. And I feel like spirit would do that because they want to give you this confirmation that you did make the right choice. But you see, you're never going to know unless someone takes that action. Show me within the next few weeks. So we have coming out sideways is the Ten of Air. So this could be a blockage for somebody. And the Ten of Air does talk about, yeah, maybe someone here has been betrayed, backstabbed, you know. All that, all those kind of things that kind of put you in the energy where you don't trust or you don't want to be open or you're kind of closed off or you just want to keep yourself to yourself. It says the end of a difficult situation. It says embrace the change and accept and expect things to get better now. It says recovering from an addiction. Some of you may know that you need to give something up. Right? Some of you may know that you maybe are still indulging in certain things that is not for your higher self. I'm hearing that for some of you, you do this because you are self-medicating, almost like you are trying to cover some sort of wounds or hurt that maybe you don't want to think about or you just don't want to. I don't want to say that you don't want to accept. Maybe it is, right? Show me more. clear message thank you spirit thank you seven of pentacles seven of pentacles it says seeds well planted it says a temporary pause in action it says unnecessary worry the seven of pentacles does talk about maybe somebody who is reflecting that something that maybe they invested in so again you know maybe someone invested a lot of time effort or energy um, or even money into a situation and maybe things didn't turn out the way you'd hoped but it's that energy where I'm hearing spirits say, all is not lost. What did you have to learn from that situation? What lesson can you take with you? And the rest, leave it behind. Show me more. Yes, in the reverse. Interesting, these cards very rarely come out in the reverse okay so this would sit underneath that ten of swords ten of air right and it's the seven of air but it's in the reverse now in the upright it says plans that need a revision it says more going on than meets the eye it says poor timing it's in the reverse something here isn't poor timing something here is the absolute right timing for someone and again, with this energy of the Ten of Air and the Seven of Air, right, which in the upright, the Seven of Swords in the traditional tarot can also talk about a liar, a cheater, a thief, right? People who maybe were around you pretending to be your friend, pretending that they had your best interests at heart, but no, they had underlying motives. I'm hearing the word fox. So sneaky people, conniving people. But those experiences have put you in an energy where you are now super cautious for someone. It's better to know than not to know. 
even though it may have been very painful for somebody here. This is like seeing clearly. Mm. Show me more. This may have had to do with finances with a ten of pentacles showing its face. Or this could have had to do with family. Maybe someone again is worried about their finances with the nine of air, which talks about someone who is expecting the worst. Or this is someone who is maybe having sleepless nights. This talks about self-fulfilling prophecies. Stop expecting the worst. Let's change that mindset. And I'm also hearing spirits saying here, if you have done something wrong or you are feeling guilty about something, forgive yourself. Yeah, the world card and the page of pentacles. It's almost like an opportunity again, like for a clean slate. Yes, it may be difficult because the page of pentacles can talk about like maybe starting from, you know, the bottom, right? Starting from the very beginning, but at least it's solid. Show me more. Within the next few weeks for Virgo, what are we getting stuck on? The five of pentacles. Someone's worried about their finances. The two of air, they feel like they're stuck. If someone here feels like they can't move forward. Five of pentacles with the two of air with the eight of wands. One card. You have the seven of cups. So we have the energy of seven, seven here, which, oh, we actually got three sevens. So let me just Google what that angel number is. Okay. Okay. So someone here could definitely be going through a spiritual awakening. And maybe this is why spirit is saying, hey, listen, because you're going through this awakening, things are very much going to change, not only in your life, but in your mind's eye, right? It, it, you're just going to see things differently. So someone could have been in hangman mode for a little while. It's almost like that energy of there, almost like they're showing me a, a um, caterpillar going into a cocoon. But obviously we know, you know, a butterfly coming out. So that, you know, butterflies talk about transformation and, and change, right? Spiritual growth. But it does also talk about your manifestations. It talks about love, career. It also talks about the twin flame journey. Hmm. I almost feel like I want to say something about Black Panther. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someone's just been watching it. Oh, it's that energy. I don't know if you've seen Black Panther. Who hasn't seen Black Panther, right? I don't know if you remember that bit when he's fighting and he's almost getting beaten up. It's kind of reminded me of the Nine of Wands, right? The Wounded Warrior. And it's almost like, do you remember when the mum shouts out? She shouts out, remember who you are or something like that. And it's almost like, that encouragement is what he needed. And then you see him kind of come back, you know, powerful. So I don't know. It says this message, it says this number is a message from the divine. That you are on the right path and you are supported by the universe. So whoever this is, don't be afraid. But I know it's easier said than done, right? So the energy of 777. Seven, seven. Now the seven of cups, does, it can talk about options, okay? Um, but it also can talk about confusion. Maybe someone here is confused about what they should invest in next. But like I said, I feel like someone here has some sort of idea, right? About who or what they want to invest in. But it's this doubt. Is this going to work out for me? Is this the right move? Is this the right person to work with, to be with, to love? Give me one more. Or two more. So 
So we have the three of fire. So there's that energy where I was saying, you know, the three of fire can talk about someone who has vision. It says abundance. And you see how that dragon is kind of sitting right next to her? You're never alone. Your ancestors, they're trying to guide somebody here. It says abundance. It says things look very good. It says have patience at this time. It says make long-term plans. And I'm looking at this kind of like volcano in the back, right? And it almost looks like it's like it's about to erupt. I feel like something big is about to happen for someone. And I feel like it's in a good way. What is this card? Yeah, the high priestess. King of air at the bottom of the deck. I just, okay. It just feels like someone here, what does that five of swords say? Someone feels like something may be an unwise choice or that someone's worried about maybe people gossiping or what other people have to say about something with this five of air. But again, like I said, maybe someone here is feeling kind of a little bit defeated because of some sort of deception. And maybe it did make you go into hermit mode. But you see, going into hermit mode has made somebody realize what is actually wish fulfillment to them. Well, I'm also picking up an energy where, like I said, someone here may have gone through a really bad breakup or separation. Um, but it's, I feel like it's spirit kind of saying that's because you wasn't meant to be there for, I, I guess, the rest of your life. Maybe you had to stay in that situation for a certain amount of time to learn something. I heard boundaries. I heard respect. Yeah, the dreamer and the emperor. So the high priestess is a number two. And I feel like I just heard spirit say that your intuition is going to help you make this decision. The number two is reminding me of the two of wands. And that does talk about, hey, listen, are you going left? Are you going right? Are you staying? What are you doing? You know, you've got to make a choice here. Decisions. You decide what your next journey is going to look like. It says, listen to your intuition. It says, have patience. It says, consider carefully what you want before acting. So you see, it being paired with the three of wands, like I was saying, what do you want your future to look like? What do you vision for yourself? What do you desire? <laughs> they reminded me oh gosh what film was that i can't remember but they're showing me this bit in a movie um and it's almost like the way they were how can i put this into words spirit it's almost like someone has a vision right and i'm giving an example right i've got a vision and i say to spirit you know what spirit i i, I want a new car i think i want to relocate uh, you know uh, x y and z and i, I want like this and then i say all this to spirit and then after everything i've said i go but how am i going to achieve that how am i going to get that and it's almost like spirit is saying hey listen when you do that and then say but it's almost like in your mind you're saying to yourself you can't achieve it or you can't have it. But I'm hearing spirits saying, oh, anything before the word but is bullshit. So it's like, don't put the word but, say what you want and then say, do you know what? I don't know how long it is before spirit um, grants me this wish or um, whatever, right? But I know that they're going to kind of provide. I know that they're going to deliver. I know that they heard my praise and they're going to answer it. It's almost like 
I don't know, they're speaking quite a lot today. It's almost like um, Spirit saying, you know, don't put limitations on your dreams. Have faith. Let's keep it moving. So, where should Virgo's focus be? What's the strongest energy here, Spirit? Where should Virgo's focus be? Just one card, let's see. Anything else? Where should their focus be? Thank you, Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have perfect timing again. Is it still at the bottom of this deck or is it gone? Oh. So we're seeing perfect timing again. It says, now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. It says, the doors are open. It says, while you walk through them with us by your side. It says, don't delay or procrastinate. It says, as all of the ingredients are ripe for success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Now, the cards that you have falling out, the first one I'm seeing, it says, reward yourself. It says you've been given a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time, it says make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. It says this balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood and motivation at a constantly high level. You have fresh air. So again, this energy of hermit mode, maybe some of you need to get out here. And even if you kind of um, still want to be alone, you know, I always like things that, like I always used to say, like, I wish I'd live like a little bit more closer to like the ocean or the beach or something like that. Even if you get out and sit in your garden. But it says your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants and flowers. Or you can even buy flowers and like put them in your home if you really don't want to go out. Because I'm feeling like a Virgo here who has some sort of like social anxiety. Um, but yeah, I just heard someone say they just feel like they don't fit in with other people. So it says, spend time outside today. It says, as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. It says, open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. You have focus on service. It says, your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. It says, this stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Now, is there anything that my Virgos need to work on? Anything they need to work on? Okay. Can I get one more? Anything else that I need to work on, Spirit? I'm going to do it. You do have love. So whether that is, like I said, opening up to love or whether that is self-love, you have soulmate here. So I don't know if some of you are desiring to be with a soulmate or maybe a soulmate is desiring to be with you, but you're just not open to it and it could be because of fear. But Spirit is saying that you deserve love. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing I'm hearing a card from the other deck where it says, get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you have? Oh, okay, Virgos, what do you need to work on? You have rejection. 
and you also have letting go. So some of you, there's something here that you are holding on to, okay? And it could be about something that has already happened. And it's almost like I'm hearing spirits say, number one, ask yourself, can you go back and change it? I'm hearing number two, would you have wanted to continue living a lie? This energy is giving me what you need to work on. What you need to realize is that rejection is God's protection. Someone here may be thinking, damn, is it something about me? Was I not good enough? No. Just that situation, that person wasn't for you anymore. Or maybe it just wasn't for you. Like, like say this is a, a family member that you are going to reunite with and you can work things out, right? Maybe separation was needed for, I don't know, whatever reason. For you to see something clearly, for them to see something clearly, for two people to learn, for one person to learn, for someone to know their worth. This is too much energy here. Letting go is a number 26 and it boils down to a number eight. The eight of wands talks about moving forward. Release. That death card. Ending so that you can have new beginnings. I'm looking at this card and it's almost like you've got two like Grim Reaper kind of figures in the back here. Like they're holding candles. Some of you... you <laughs> I feel like you may have even had like a, a lucky escape from something. Almost like the darkness was holding you back. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily have to be about another person. This could be a mindset. Let go of the negative mindset. Try to think from a more um, higher vibration. Some of you need to balance your dark and your light side. Give me a card for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Well, I want to do we have gratitude. It says, you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. What did I just say? Things happen for a reason. Trust the reason. Yeah, acceptance right behind it. It says, they just said read it. I was trying to avoid it. <laughs> it says, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Go with the flow. So the first one that is coming out, it says friendliness. It says you are able to recognize traits in common with with another in order to forge love based connections. What? It says you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love based connections. So, OK. And then you have compassion. It says you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So these, okay, let me just keep going. So let's get any additional messages from my Virgos. So spirit could have separated you from someone who, like I said, was either kind of using and abusing you. Taking your kindness for weakness, didn't really have your best interests at heart, just kind of wanted what they could get out of a situation. For some of you, spirit is separating you from people who are trying to control you. And some of others, maybe you are having to learn that control doesn't get you anywhere. 
Show me more. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Additional messages for Virgo. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, we have obstacles and blocks are lifted. It says all your good personal work and positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. It says you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. It says stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says declutter. And it says you'll feel better and more focused if you'll take time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. It says donate what you can to help others who may need your items. It says be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. So this definitely talks about, well, yeah, there's a card there. I was just going to say it talks about maybe like organization, right? So let's read it. It says organize for success. It says do not let the word organize intimidate you. It says as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. It says organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next steps for action. And then you have deservingness. It says you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. It says, even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, it says, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. So again, you know, it's that energy they only want the best for you. And they want you to realize that you deserve the best. So how do you want to end this reading for my Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Just give me these three cards for going forward. Three cards are going forward for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. What's the strongest energy here? So we have the third chakra, which is Archangel Camiel. Some people say Shamiel, I don't know. <laughs> you have the man holding a heart. And one more What's the energy going forward. get a card for going forward thank you and we have the temple path now the temple path was trying to come out in the reverse or well, it did come out in the reverse wasn't trying to <laughs> um and this is what i'm saying right i don't really take these cards in the reverse it's almost like someone here doesn't see that in their mind what they're seeing as the impossible is actually possible now let me just check this which one is it ah the third chakra this is about your personal power and you see the number it's a 37 it boils down to a 10 someone here has the power right to kind of move past whatever this uh, where was it whatever this ten of air was right something here is over let it go and again you know the third chakra does talk about um your warrior energy remember who you are that black panther energy Bottom of the deck, you have daughter spirit. 
just feel like I want to say with this man holding a heart. Do you know what it's reminding me of? <laughs> it's reminding me of that, um, is his name Omarion? I got icebox where my heart used to be. So cold, it's so cold, it's so cold. And look at the number. It's the number 45, which could be significant, or the number 54. But it boils down to a nine, the wounded warrior. Life has been a battle for somebody. But your life is not over yet. And I'm hearing spirits say, so stop living like it is. So Virgos, I'm going to leave that there. I do hope that something has resonated with you today. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.